Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will take a closer look at proportional relationships with a focus on writing equations for graphs. The graph for a proportional relationship is linear and goes through the origin as seen with the graph on the left, and the equation will be in the form y equals kx. The graphs of non-proportional relationships will not pass through the origin, and the equations will be in the form y equals mx plus b, and we will address these relationships in another video. This video will focus just on proportional relationships where we can describe the relationship between x and y using the equation y equals kx, where k is the constant of proportionality. There is a link in the description below to our constant of proportionality video if you need to review, but what is important to remember is that the constant of proportionality is a ratio and can be calculated using k equals y over x or y divided by x. Let's take a look at our examples. This example asks us to write the equation that represents our graph, and our graph shows us the distance traveled in miles per hour. And the first thing we need to determine is whether this is a proportional relationship. Well, we have a linear graph and it goes through the origin, so this is a proportional relationship. And because it's a proportional relationship, we know that equation is going to be y equals kx, which means we're going to need to calculate k, which is our constant of proportionality. And that formula for calculating k is k equals y over x. So I need to choose a point on this graph so I can get a y value and an x value in order to calculate our constant of proportionality. And we want to choose, when we can, the point on our graph where x is 1 because it's an easier calculation. So I'm going to use the point 160 to calculate my constant of proportionality. So my y value is 60, so it needs to go on top. My x value is 1, it will go on the bottom. And 60 divided by 1 is 60. So my constant of proportionality, or k, is going to be 60. So then in my equation, I'm just going to take this k value and substitute it for k. So the equation for this line in this graph is going to be y equals, we just found that k was 60, so we're going to put 60 in place of k. So our equation will be y equals 60x. This example asks us to write the equation that represents the graph that we see below with calories burned while walking. And I noticed that it goes through the origin and is a linear graph, so it is a proportional relationship. So we'll use the formula y equals kx, where k is our constant of proportionality and is equal to y over x. So I'm going to need to choose a point on this graph where I can get an x value and a y value in order to calculate my constant of proportionality. Well, normally I would want to choose where x equals 1, but on this graph where x equals 1, I'm not really sure what my y value is. So that's not going to be the best choice for me. I could choose the point 270 where I would have 70 for y and 2 for x, or I could also choose any other point on this line, which means I could choose the point 10, 350. And that's the one I'm actually going to choose because with x is 10, it means I'll be dividing by 10. And I feel like that might be the easier calculation than to be dividing by 2. So the point I'm going to use is 10, 350 which means when I go and plug this in to find my constant of proportionality, I will be using 350 for y, so 350 will go on top. I'll be using 10 for x, so 10 will go on the bottom. So I'll have 350 over 10, or 350 divided by 10, and 350 divided by 10 is 35. Had I used 270, I would have had 70 over 2, or 70 divided by 2, which still would have been 35, but I thought dividing by 10 would be easier, which is why I chose the other point. It doesn't matter which point you choose for your calculation of your constant of proportionality, I do just recommend that you choose one that's on a grid line so you know the exact values that you're using. Once you calculate k as being 35, you can plug that into your equation. So you'll have y equals, we'll put 35 in place of k, so your equation is y equals 35x. 
Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.